test here. This is basically going to be a uh, sound test uh, to see which is better at rejecting ambient noise. So this is audio from the Ethos, and this is audio from the XM8500. I did my very, very best to match the audio, but if I, for some reason, I haven't, I have attached a 32-bit float recording in the description, and you can match them yourself in the end. But here's how it sounds. In my opinion, <clears throat> what I'm now going to do is I'm going to turn on some water here and see which picks up more of the noise. Remember, this is all pretty much as level match as I could do it. Mic check testing, one, two, three. Mic check testing, one, two, three. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay. Now, what I'm going to tell you before I go on further, you're going to start to notice that one is picking up a lot more of the noise. It's not that they're not level matched, or at least the best I could. It's just that one is more sensitive than the other. Okay, so let's go ahead and go for it, okay? Switching to the XM8500. Here's water. Microphone check, testing, one, two, three. This is the XM8500 when it's picking up water. Okay. Now, switching. This is the Ethos. And this is when it's picking up water in the background. This is how it sounds. Mic check testing, one, two, three. Okay. Next test, let's do a vacuum cleaner. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn on a vacuum cleaner. And one of these is going to pick up more of the noise. It's going to sound like their, song, their audio are not matched. But as you can see, I've tried to match them as best as I could. Okay. So this is the XM8500. Prepare to be annoyed, but we're going to go and turn on some, some uh, vacuum. So this is audio from the XM8500. Microphone check, testing, one, two, three. This is how it sounds. Okay. And this is ambient noise coming in. Switching now. This is the ethos, and this is when the vacuum cleaner is coming in. Microphone check, testing, one, two, three. All right. So why did I make this um, little test here? The reason I did that was basically there's a, uh, a some people here and there that are saying, hey, dynamics and condensers reject the same amount of noise and they have the same reverb. It's just a matter of distance. And if you have the same distance, you raise up the gain and you level match them, they're going to be identical. In terms of reverb, they'll be the same. In terms of ambient noise, they'll be the same. And well, this is a condenser. I don't know if you guys knew that. The ethos is a condenser. This is a dynamic. But in my opinion, it's that's not true. It's not identical. Like, clearly, this was picking up a lot more. This is a condenser, okay? This is all up in my mouth. It's not like it was far away. It was all up in my grill, and it was picking up everything. Even though the voice was kind of roughly, give or take, about the same volume, one was picking up a lot more of that bathroom. One was picking up a lot more of that water. One was picking up a lot more. In other words, one was picking up a lot more of the distracting noises out there, and one wasn't, you know? And that's... That's why freaking almost every audio engineer out there is like, dude, you don't have a treated space, get a dynamic. Don't even bother with condensers until you've treated your space. It's not just a distance thing. Even if you put them all both in the same, in this case, the, condens the condenser loses. You know, that's all I got to say. <laughs>